Uh, hello? Mm, welcome back. Hey, yeah. Well, that happens, right? I, like, came back from the AFK and it was, like, red. And I'm like, what the heck happened? What the heck happened? All right. So it seems okay now. I think it was just a blip. Gotcha, how are you, man? How is your Wednesday? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, all right. What the heck was I, what the heck was I doing? Oh, I was cleaning out algae. I was cleaning out some algae. Just trash that and that. So I want to try to, I want to try to get it so that the rocket will just fill. Long story on why I'm home early, but we're here. We are. All right. Well. I'm glad you're there. Holy Barry. Three sub. <laughs> oh, I am honored. Thank you. Three months? It's been three months? Holy crap. Thanks a lot, Malls. Well, Kaja, I'm glad you are home. And uh, what a wonderful place to be. Just hanging out here with me. <laughs> I like it. Where does this go? Oh, under the roof. Hello. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is up here. How's the update? It's good. It's very good. It is, um, it's not huge, but I would say that it's like, I would say it's, it's an excellent addition to the game. So you get to build another rocket platform that I just, and I just attached it to the other rocket. And then there's trading now, and I've got a rocket out, so we can't look at the trading menu, but you get terror tokens. And so you take... So you take all the work you've done, right? And then you can use those things you're building to sell them for tokens to get even more stuff to build. So it's sort of like another carrot to go. And then, yeah, the frogs, um, the frogs, right? Like the frogs were always sort of planned. So it's like very, it's, it's like next step, right? You've got algae and then fish and now frogs, right? I mean, we're on our way to, we're on our way to cows, right? We're on our way to cows. Do, do, do. Okay, so yeah, and then they and then they let you do 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 do. Uh, I saw the I saw the frogs thing. I was thinking of you. <laughs> All right, so once again, I am dead on. Yes, we are moving. We are moving. We've been moving since November of last year, but we've been working on we've been working on some stuff in the background to make it work. And of course, everything takes longer than you think it is. And so, um, yeah, thanks, thanks, Stream Elements. Oh man, did I not launch that? Is that what's the part of the problem too? Um, yeah, we've been moving for. We've been getting ready to move. No, we're moving out of Denmark to another country in the EU, um, which we haven't, I don't know that Molly said it yet either. We haven't really said it. I'm not, we, I don't, we'll talk more about where we are when we get there. But um, my job came, my job finished here in, uh, my job finished here last year and we kind of stuck around and trying to decide what we were going to do next. And I've had a couple of other like job opportunities that kind of come and fallen through. And so just kind of hanging around waiting for the next opportunity to come. And this has been a good setup for us, but we've always kind of wanted to move on from Denmark. It's not necessarily the cheapest place to live. And it's also hard to stay here if you don't have uh, an opportunity. 77 Terra tokens. Um, so we've always decided we wanted to move. And so we worked pretty hard to get out and it's all finally came together. Fucking finally months and months of work. And, um, so yeah, we next, next Tuesday, the mover comes, it does not count as employment partially because you don't want it. You don't want it to count as right. Because you, the, for tax reasons, of course. Um, so we, we the mover comes next Tuesday and they're going to take a good portion of our stuff and then we and then Molly goes to Paris and then we're back she comes back and then we move we actually go to Lisbon 
on the 16th of July. So we've got some time here where we won't have a lot of stuff in the house. We're just kind of chilling out. And she's going to be gone most of the time in Paris uh, for uh, TwitchCon. So um, so be some downtime. And then I won't probably stream until the last part of July. So it'll, it'll be away from it. And I'm working on a bunch of YouTube stuff now. So it'll be constant YouTube postings as I'm away. But um, but yeah, it's so it's... It's uh, it's crazy. It's gonna be it's a crazy time, and I can't wait for it all to be done. Because you think the moving logistics, especially when you, it's not the same as moving when you're in your home country, right? And especially in America, it's so easy to pick up and just go to the next place, and the next place, and the next place. So it's it's been it's been trying, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to all being over. You know, selling stuff and packing stuff and moving stuff. And blah. the purge is good though, so that's good. Hey, Dread, how are you? Welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, new update. New update. Oh, hold on a second. Molly came in. She's like, you just so told everyone where we're moving to. <laughs> I don't even hear myself thinking. All right. Well, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Um, so I'm too hilarious in my own head. Only the ones who listened. Yeah, right. Everyone else is like phased out. Um, moving from Denmark to Denmark. Yeah. It's not a big secret. We just kind of kept it on the lowdown, right, for now. Um, I can love this game hype for the update. Uh, Dread, it's great. Smush. It's really, really good, actually. Um, it's a whole other level of, like, uh, ca 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 carroting, I guess, is what you could say, in terms of, like, um, all the things you've been working on now are, like, you, you're, you get these trade tokens, so Terra token system in current inventory and so you can buy stuff with the tokens and this is sort of like instead of unlocking the level through terraforming now you're going to unlock it through these ter these terra tokens so i, I was wondering what they're going to do because you're going to get to a certain you know you you've terraformed the planet now you can breathe there's water so you can't unlock stuff through that anymore and then you've got the animal terraforming stuff which is sort of a lot shallow it has, it's more shallow than the than the terraforming the planet itself so um so now, yeah, you've got, you can, you know, you can get the, the cooking station that was in the uh, anniversary update is in there, uh, fabric, um, eggs, butterflies. There's a bigger locker storage, which I'm looking forward to. Um, and then they've got extended living compartments. So they made bigger, um, bigger compartments and bigger living domes. And then there's an upgraded drones. Yeah, they did during the anniversary event, they did a cooking station and everyone's like, oh, it's coming to the game. And it's, it's cool. So it's like, yeah, it's like a stove and you can add a bunch of stuff and make more cooking recipes and then to get these you these are the items down here that have value and you can see when you hover it tells you what the value is and then you load those into this rocket here and then the rocket takes off and brings you back tokens and i've been doing this for an hour and 20 minutes and i have 367 tokens so it's not um it's it's going to be it's, it's going to take some time yeah, cooking. That's what the game needed. It needs, it needs like, I mean, f food and water are such a huge part of this. You needed to be able to cook, right? I'm just eating honey right out of the, right out of the bay here. All right. Um... So what I want to try to do in this last hour before we got to bounce is sit in complete darkness. No. Do, 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 do. Mm, Molly, the look on Molly's face when she's like, you just told them. I'm like, eh, all right, well. I never said I was a smart man, folks. I just said I was a man. I wonder if it's pulling that cobalt now into the... It looks like it is. And then I think the big change for me was that these can now be enabled to, when they're full, destroy all the inventory. I talked, I actually, there's a video of me talking about, like, these are, um, these are destructors. And uh, the one thing I liked most about them was pressing the big red button and, and watching things get destroyed. Watch. <laughs> 
But I said, well, we make this perfect and, and make it a, a sync, like and satisfactory is that if you could have them automatically destroy stuff so that you could get the drones to pull what you wanted them to pull, the excess in all of the mining that's sitting out there would then put the excess into one of these destructors. And then the destructors would just simply, once they were full, flush themselves all the time. Then you've got sort of a, you've got a really clean automated system of stuff. So they've done it and now it is. I, I and to, to be honest, you know, this is where my two crafters are. I put these two destructors here so that every time I walk by, I would press the red button so I could keep the system going. Now I don't need to do that anymore. So there's a lot of joy in the fact that it's automated, but there's also some sadness because I like pressing the big red button. Yeah. <laughs> um, the question is, what the hell are we going to automate? Like, I think... Like, the green doesn't seem to be coming in fast enough from way out there. Let's go take a look at... Let's... What is it? Green station? Watering hole? Isn't there a green... Green station. I don't understand... So could we build another one of these and pull more uranium out of the ground? Because these green ones are worth a ton. And is it, this is a and this is a tier two extra. I put a tier two extractor out here. What do we need for a tier two extractor? Talk to me about it. Talk to me about a tier two extractor. How do we get that? How do we get the tier two extractor? Talk to me about it. Do we need to make a tier one extractor? Tier 3 extractor. Titanium uh, and the three rods. All right, let's make one of those and throw it out here too. Take me to station one. Uh, it's right over here. Mm -mm. So we need one of these. It's totally going to work, right? All right, and then we need one of these. And then I don't remember what the last one was. The organization you have is literally gorgeous. Dread, thank you so much. <laughs> it is, this is this is the very last thing I did. We were, I played this game quite a bit in March and I played it the year before and um, it's always one of my favorites. And um, I built this, this was like the very final thing I built. I brought all, I brought everything up off the ground and I like was like, you know what? I'm gonna organize it and make it better and easier to understand. I'm also going to make it pretty. This is just hilarious. I'm saying that as all this shit's just piled up on the ground down here. And I made it so that like there was a nice like walk around so you could see out here. And then of course I filled the walk around full of um, fish tanks because I was trying to make a race towards a number, right? But what I realized, and I was talking about this a little while ago, is that it's, it's built, the organization is built for me to work inside of it like we always have because that's the way the game worked before there were drones. But in the later parts of the game, it, it, it's not about like going and getting what you need in terms of like, hey, I need some algae to build this, to build that. What, what, you, what the game really wants you to do is automate the whole process so that you have like areas and that clicking noise you're hearing is those are the drones flying in and out. You have areas that are making things right so you have certain places where they're like they're building rods they're building engines they're building all these things and then they're then then there's a centralized hub so this is where i want to get to the next time we play this game from start to finish there's a centralized hub where in that hub you've got all of the building components you're going to need right and so you don't need you don't need to build anything other than what you're going to build out of the queue menu right so that when you walk into a place like this it's like engines rods this that and that you don't you don't necessarily need to build like you have some place that's building a bunch of fertilizer you have some base that's building a bunch of mutagen so that when you walk in you can just grab these these things right and so i th i think that like and and when i built this place we the drones had just come in line during the last update and so and i still couldn't i built some of it with that in mind and even talking about it now like in theory, I'm like, yes. In like building it, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but thank you. And so I guess what I'm saying is that like, I built this this way because one, I don't, 
I'm, I always press on this by accident, the little, little sign. And so I try to build them so that I can't access the sign. So it's, I always click into the box. And then I split them. And I don't know, there's plant stuff on this side and basic stuff on this side. Drones work for you. <laughs> um, and then I have two. What's in the box, Drax? What's in the box, Drax? Am I an earth sign? When's your birthday? Uh, well, what was that black box? Uh, it's in January. My birthday's in January, in early January. So, yeah, I think it, 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 it works, and I think it's, like, logical, but I also think that, like, I could have done better. <laughs> I could have been a contender. Okay, what the fuck are we doing? Okay, we're building a... We're building a tier seven launcher here. So I have, wait, I, oh, I didn't pull the super alloy one out, did I? You're an earth sign. I don't know what that means, but I'll take your word for it. And then a red, a red, red. I don't think we have one of those either because I used them all. I sold them all down the river. Yeah, I am indeed a Capricorn. Um, I now need some titanium. Show me the titanium. I do like creating systems, no doubt about that. I like it probably more than doing anything else. Once the system's created, I'm like, yeah, all right, you guys figure it out. Someone else needs to run it. Okay, so we can build a T3. We were at green, which I'd like to be able to alphabetize the um, this list too, by the way. Can we hit like an alpha sort button? I don't know how they're going to do that. It's just a database, right? All right, so can we put another one of these down in here? Oh, we can. This interface isn't jank janky at all. I get this huge red thing on my face here. I don't... Oh, I'm sorry. This is making me want to throw up. Um, I just want to get it into a place where, like, we can easily access it. But it looks like it was only... I guess it's going to be right here. I guess we don't really... Like, this is, once again, I'm like... I need to access it, but I really don't. That was a tier three I built, right? Why does it look different than the tier two? Doesn't it seem like the tier two holds more? It's five by five, right? 25. Oh, it can just, it can pull different ones, I guess. Hi, can we... Oh, the difference between the Tier 2 and the Tier 3 is that you can tell it exactly what you want it to pull. Right? I mean, it shouldn't matter because we're going to have it supply this. Look at it working. Wait, are we paused? What <laughs> the hell is going on here? All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, good. It's still not going to be enough, right? Like, it needs to be, like, for us to... Eh, maybe not. Maybe this is another one of these, um... Where Drax, like, um... Doubles down because it's too slow in the beginning, but then realizes that, like, after an hour of operation, you're producing way more than you need, and, like, it gums the whole system up. <laughs> oh, shit. Probably. Although that does seem incredibly slow. What are we, like, a piece a minute here, maybe? What did you guys do on Drax's stream today? We watched a tier three extractor pull uranium out of the ground. Was it fun? Oh no. No, no, no. It wasn't fun. It wasn't fun at all. I'm watching that. I just wanted to see it. Is it really a minute? I probably need to read the description. Yeah, so it's about it's about 60 seconds per piece. Oh, 
Only quiet mining with some sweet, sweet jazz in the background, right? All right, so I don't, I don't believe that there's, I, th yeah, the only difference between this one and the T2 is storage, but then you can tell this one exactly what you want. So this one shouldn't just randomly pull shit out of the ground. It's only going to ever pull uranium, which is fine. And this one will continue to pull like uranium plus whatever else it pulls, which is also fine. All right. Um, hmm. Hmm. So I'm just dumping that into the garbage. Looks like we're about to have another meteor storm. I'm guessing the, uh, the supply rocket's back, so I guess we should fill it full of something. Uh, what do we... Well, I was gonna just... I was just gonna make... I mean, do you, just, do you just tell this to say, okay, just start making these things. And you can actually automate this, right? To say, we'll supply... We'll supply uranium rods. And so it should then just pull them out. So, so this is, this is sort of like the, the base of what I'm talking about, right? But I don't think we can, we can't, we can't have it supply and demand, right? So we can't give it, we don't need to worry about that because it's, well, it's within range. So how many does it need to make one of these things? Oh God. Yeah, this is, this is never going to work. Like we need to be pulling quadruple the amount of green out of the ground. And that, that cave, there was a map. Where, take me to the map room. Where is the map room? It's over here. It's over here. It's uh, right over here. Um, yeah, this, this is where we were. So this green room here is the... Oh, no, look. There's more green here. We could double down on the green. Let's do that. So let's build two more tier two extractors and then let's go to wherever this is. Uh, where we're here. Uh, I think there's a, this is at the, this is at the waterfall. I think there's a, I think there's a teleporter out there. I think there's a teleporter. Okay, where was I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hydration low, big and surprise there, buddy. Uh, we need one of those. What else do we need for this thing? We don't need greens. So we're gonna have to we're gonna we're gonna need to stop you for just a second. Mm -mm. Um I need two of these. Mm -mm. And two of these. Hey, Aquarium T2. That's exciting. We reached, oh, we did. We reached 400. Sweet. That's unexpected. And then I need two reds. I don't know if I have enough red to make two reds. Come on. Hooray. And then what? Six titanium. Show me titanium. It's right over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on a second. I gotta have my I have to have my brain read Danish. I'm like, wait, what is he saying? He's leaving work right now. All right. Um then let's go. What do we think? I wonder what watering hole. Oh, watering hole is this, is this one. I built this so that I could teleport right off the water and drink water and teleport right back out. <laughs> I think, 
I think this is where the green, didn't it say there's like green over here somewhere? Did I leave without food? Yeah, I totally did. I forgot that you can't look at the map while you're out here. I just, oh, do I want to think that it's like, it seemed like in a weird place, like a place I hadn't been before. Um, I thought it was like right here. Oh, it also could have been in here. Crab, what's up? How are you? Welcome in. How's Wednesday? How is Wednesday? Oh shit, we gotta look at the map again and try to pinpoint it. I don't think we can just set it down anywhere and make it work. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't really hurt us. Mm -mm. Oh, hi. No. Uh, what's the deconstruct button in satisfactory? F? Yeah, that's why I keep hitting F in this game. This is also one of the, this is also another one of these games, just like just like Satisfactory, where like once you have the jetpack and then you play without it, you're like, I can't play this game. <laughs> uh oh, another storm, you say? Oh shit! I'm so cheeky. Where did I put that thing? It's right here. Okay. Take me back here, and let's be smart about this map thing. Um, always walking the wrong way, don't judge me. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh, hmm. So here's. Wait. So maybe this isn't where I think it is. <laughs> Hello, Marcus. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for the lurk. Maybe this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was not the right place. So here's here's the waterfall. That's where we, that's where I was. It's not at the waterfall. It's out, it's out here. I don't, I know I've got, I know I've got a teleporter at the aluminum, aluminium. I bet that there's a teleporter out here somewhere, but I don't remember what the hell it's called. Hmm. That's where the, hmm. There's a ship out there. Oh, there's a teleporter here, too. Which is closer. So let's just go aluminum, and then we'll go back and to the right. Back and to the right. I think. Did everyone take notes on that? Cool. Got it? Great. Tell me how to do it. That's the moon. This is aluminum. Oh, I just realized something. And I'm glad I realized it right now. We should bring another teleporter with us. <laughs> right? Let's build another teleporter. Uh, three pulsar crystals and an osmanium. Uh, do we have three pulsar crystals? Shit sandwiches. Mm, the pink. Come on. Show me three. Woo. And then one white, what else? My memory is crap. Let me guess, I need to drink water. Oh no, I actually need to eat this time. Oh, just one blue? Uh, one blue. Right, good. Oh, we need another super alloy though, because it's taking the one that I'm using for the other thing. So let's build one more of those. Perfect. Uh, we need to eat something. Um, now that I've complained about the eating, it seems like I'm not doing it as much. Is that all I needed to do? Sure, Drax. Uh, where was I going? Aluminium. Back and to the right. You got it. Grub, Grub got it. 
That's a JFK reference and also a Seinfeld reference. One and the same. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm guessing it's this way that's to the thing, whether the thing and the things. I can't picture where this yellow is. Oh, God. Remember when I had the graphics stuck on destruction for like two days because I got stuck in this red zone? Hmm. I don't know. There's some water on the ground. That's what we need to... Well, here's some blue. Yeah, it's back here somewhere. I mean, there's a teleporter right here. No, no, it's this way. I'm literally just using my memory as a guide, which means we're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just white. This is on the ground. Z light. That's right. You're taking Z light. And was it in a? Was it in a cave? Was it in a? And I don't know. I just don't know. Mm -mm. <laughs> Beard, I've seen so many people rage, just completely rage out when the water comes in. And there was also somebody, um, there was also someone, there was a Reddit post not too long ago, too, and the person was like, I don't see why it's flooding my base. This is ridiculous. And I'm just like, that that's the game, dude. Like, if you don't, if you don't want to play the game, then like, I mean... It's not that big of a deal. You just move. And then when you play again, you know better, right? You're like, okay, don't do that shit again. Yeah, I don't... Oh, someone named Drax has been here before. The game does tell you to... Oh, wait. No, this isn't it, though. This... this th there's, nothing that can, there's nothing that can be drilled in here. This is the very first, like, green you find... All right, maybe I'm going to prove myself wrong right here, but I'm pretty sure you can't get anything out of here. I just proved myself wrong. I don't think this is it, but we're going to do it right here anyway. Oh my god, I didn't build two iridium rods. Doesn't matter. We built this, which means we can come right back. That sound you hear is power going off. Can I use the teleporter of this? Oh, all right, so... Will that bring the power back on? Thank God. This is green dose. Oh, we got a power problem. Station one, please. Talk to me about power plants. Guess what we don't have? Five pulsar crystals. Ah. <sighs> How many do we have? We can make these things, right? Talk to me about the pink. I got three. I'm going to need to make two. Son of a biscuit. These are not easy to make, if I remember right. Do we think we can just press this button? It'll make us one? No. What do we think we're missing? The methane's on the other side, I think. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we need five. One more, please. Oh, no, that was... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. And then what else for this thing? I think we have four super alloy on us, don't we? We do. Take me to the power. Is there a power plant? Uh, Farmville is probably the closest. There they all are. This is if one one single shot to our base knocks out our entire power infrastructure. We like to centralize the death here. I know. I need to drink. Okay. So this that one power plant should do plenty. Is it? 
Yeah. I, you know, everyone was like, I, I there's a bunch of posts about this too, like a while back talking about like how people, you, cause you know, and like in most games, you need to like deal with the power or understand the power. But like once the power gets going, like you don't have to see this thing again. A lot of people hide it. They hide it back there where the, where the, uh, the smoke's coming down so they don't have to see it. And then I've got these heaters set up here too. But I was like, you know what? I, I think it's pretty. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you need it. It doesn't need to be centralized. It just. Planet white power. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, too. I like the look of it. I like the graphics. Yeah, the po the plant, the, the power is planet wide. So no matter where you're generating power, it is good to go. And I still have. Yeah, yeah, I, I think this is a good. This, actually, right here where I'm standing, this is where my base was. And I just recently moved it back over there to hover over the water. But yeah, my initial opening base was on this cliffside here, and it, it hung out over the water. And then these are solar panels left over from the very beginning that have just never taken down. They're generating such little power. Like, all these things are generating hardly anything, right? When I played, I just ran around and made extra solar panels as I explored, plopped them whenever a marker. Yep, yep. Yeah, beard, the same. I was using beacons and stuff like that. And the, 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 the game changer, right, becomes once you have teleporters, you just need to... Like, there was a time when I was exploring. Um, in the last couple of game plays we played when I was exploring, I, I was just carrying the components for a teleporter on me so that no matter where I got... Where no matter where I got to, I would just have a teleporter. So I would just build the teleporter and teleport back to the base and pick up what I needed. There's my drinking fountain. All right, what the f was I doing? Oh, I need another iridium rod. I don't, I didn't have, two, uh, so I need another super and another, I need another red and another blue. And I think I'm going to sneeze. I don't think that has to do with anything, but I'm going to, hold on. Okay, that happened. Do 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 do. Uh, can I do another red one? Come on, good. And then another. What did I say? The super. Oh my God, Drax! You know what? I did. I did the classic thing. They're here. I just didn't pull them out of the stupid much I have you. Yeah, I love games where you can just carry the things you need to, yeah, to do with you. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, Satisfactory is like that too. I remember the very first time I watched someone play Satisfactory and they like took out the MAM and built it right where they were standing and like put the hard drive in and I'm like, wait, what? What? I was like taking all the hard drives all the way back to my base and like getting them started and da 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 da. <laughs> uh, or like building a workbench on the fly, right? Yeah, this, this game's very good at that too, right? You can build everything you need. I will never not just leave shit in here by accident. All right, so now we're going to go to green two. Instant fun. I still don't... Oh, we should have looked on the map. I still don't think... Do we have enough to build a beacon? Silicon and aluminum. Hold on. Oh, that'd have been that'd have been good. Subnautica, man. That's that when you get the big sub in Subnautica, it's just so like it's so awesome. Uh, they're working on a second version of that game, right? Like, I, I I'm so excited. I popped in the other day. I made the the gaming zone I made on last Thursday was Subnautica, and I hadn't been in a while. And I'm just swimming around, going, "How is this 2013 game so effing beautiful?" Mm. Titanium, silicon, aluminum. Titanium, silicon, aluminium. Uh, da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. I don't remember how to change the beacon once you get it rolling. 
I guess it doesn't matter. It's blue. Yeah, I thought you could change the color though. Subnautica 3, I guess is planned, but I don't know if they started development. I thought, I th oh, it's right there. I thought they had. All right, let's try this again. Okay, I'm back. Third time's the charm. You bet it is. Can I do another one in here? You're darn tootin'. All right, that, and I'd like to supply this. Thank you. And this, and I'd like to supply this. Didn't like Below Zero. I don't think I ever finished Below Zero. I'm not sure. I, I played it on and off. It was just, it was, yeah, I, it, it wasn't the same experience. All right, so let's go look at this. And no, no, I don't need to rename it. Station one. Uh, show me the map room. One of these times I'm gonna, there it is. Doesn't it show us the beacons? Hmm. I don't think we're in this one right here. I thought, I thought it showed us beacons on the map. Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the one, maybe that's the cave I'm in. Unclear though, because it looks like there's a building right outside the cave, which there is a building right outside that cave. All right, so we've got, we now have four green extractors pulling the green stuff out. Um, Let's take a look. How are we doing in terms of, like, it just doesn't seem like it's coming in fast enough. Right? I didn't finish it. Too many voices, too much story shoved in your face. Felt way more like being led than the first one. Agreed. Yeah, the original was perfect. It's still perfect. I like, that's one of those games I wish I could like erase my memory and play for the first time, right? It's also one of those games that like I started in, maybe I played it, was there a, was there an early access? Probably, because I feel like I played it in sections too, where I was like, played for a while, and then played again, then played for a while, then played again. It's a damn good game. Uh, all right, so we should we have it start making these again? And now the question is, can you then get these to be delivered to the rocket? Hello, rocket. I started in 2015 and burned out twice before launch. Yeah, Grub, I feel like I'm the exact same way. I feel like that's what happened to me too. Like played, stopped, update, played, stopped, then it launched and I played again. All right. Um, so I guess we can, we can say we, we demand these and it'll start filling them up. Do we have a drone problem too? Is that what's going on? Like we don't have enough drones. Because it feels like this should be instantaneous. The drone should have already picked it up and brought it over here. Oh, you know what it is? This is that they're not. They're maybe not supplying it. I don't know, right? So they're demanding it. Let's. Hi. Yeah, I'm back. So we need to get rid of this. So we're demanding this for sure, but we're supplying now these guys. And then we're just demanding this. And let's pull these rods out of here and put them into here. Yeah, there we go. We just had some, we had, we had some wires crossed. 
We didn't play till it was fully released. It was amazing from start to finish. One of the prettiest games too. It's so, it's so unbelievable. Like from the very starter area where the sun is glistening through the water and it's just like so tropical feeling. And then you, you know, move into the kelp forest and then you're in the mushroom area. And then you come over that one plateau and it's just this wide open like valley and it goes deeper and deeper. And then you've got those, those pockets where it's all well lit and you go deeper and deeper down. Like, I mean, that is, there aren't a lot of games with that kind of like complexity. Yeah. Then you're out of the water, you're in the water, you're on the Island, you're in the base. If you haven't played this game, I'm just spoilers out the ass, right? The aliens. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -mm. Yeah. All the different, all the different fish. Okay, so we've we've doubled down on, on what is being produced out there and we're still not producing enough. Uh, you know what? I was listening to that and I thought, wait, is that the same person? It's, it's not the same developer, right? Why is there no aluminium in there? Oh, because it's sitting on the other side. Is this being... What's going on out there? It's, it was great. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. Oh, they're not supplying aluminium? What the heck, Drax? Yeah, I'm aware of it. Yeah, I think we've got like... I think we got... What's missing here? Silicon? I think we got a drone problem. I think we got a drone problem. Mm, Grand Reef before they added the warpers. Those fu those warpers, man. What a bunch of assholes. Like one, yeah. You're just like out of your ship, and you're like, what, 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 what how, what the, the. And then in Subnautic, in, in, in Sub-Zero, right, they had those guys who, like, stole stuff out of your hands. Uh, what? I was looking at, there were some problems. There was a problem with aluminium. We're demanding it. All right, we need drones, dude. There's, there's a drone. We got a drone problem. Talk to me about that one. Let's just do here for a minute. Circuit boards, rocket engines, iron. I guess let's eat while we're standing here. I was gonna have to circuit boards and iron. We need another circuit board. Mm -mm. Aren't there boards somewhere? Mm -hmm. Hydration level critical. I'm like surrounded by water. Urgh. Walk the wrong way, Drax. I gotta remember that I can use the teleporter to get water too by going to the watering hole. I went in there and played after it was released and I'd played through once. I went back a, like a year later, two years later, and like made another like hard run at it. And um, I did a bunch of crazy stuff I'd never done before. And that was, that was it. I, I haven't gone back since. Ah, okay, so I need another circuit board. I'm going to ask you to stop for just a second. What do I need for this? No way I have all of that. Hmm. Nitrogen, 
Bioplasty is the problem, right? Two mushrooms, a silicon, and a water. Uh, it's blue outside. Oh my gosh, it just, it just jumped me back to the other side. And then um, mushrooms. The end here, maybe? Somewhere? Hey, all right. Seriously, why does the whole room need to turn blue? Okay, what am I still missing? Oh, it's not mushrooms. I, I pulled eggplant instead of mushrooms. Come on, Drax. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hi, yeah, I'm back again. What the fuck am I missing this time now? Oh, no, wait. Is there no water? Am I on, I'm on the wrong side for the water. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Drax, that water is right there all the time, and you never go for it. All right, what am I building? This, um... Oh, wow, that was easy. But I'm really building drones. Which are built here as well. Um, hi. What does it take to build a drone? I have all of that. Perfect. I wonder what it's thrown down out there. It's blue, probably super. Um... Is it over? Anything, uh, hit, anything hit the ocean floor here? Well, if it did, we missed it. Yeah. 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 All right, let me out of here. Uh, there's a lot. Oh, this is where I wanted to go anyway. All right. Good. Um, hi. Yeah, I think I just need to put in some of these guys. Yeah. Yeah, I bet we're... Is there a readout that's just telling us, like, how bad we're doing? 29 drones. Total. 21 on supply and 8 on demand. Oh, it's moving. It would be nice if... <laughs> they didn't update this. Drones cannot collect algae or vegetables. That's not true. So I wonder if there's some kind of metric that will tell us, like, you're way off. You need, like, you need way more drones. I wonder if it has to do with what you're picking up and putting down. I mean, I guess there's no drones in base, which means they're out there working. Uh, I mean, there's 30 drones working. I don't see anybody. I don't. I don't see any of these drones working. For all I know, they're on some kind of long coffee break. Isn't there some map that shows us? Oh, on the map we can see. Here they are. I wonder if they slowed the drones down because they released the T2 drones. Well, at least we know they're going out to get aluminum now. But yeah, I mean, I've seen it where, like, they, you have people, like, that they have set up the automation to just make drones. So there's just tons of drones being made. I am not that sophisticated. <laughs> Let's make... A bunch of bioplasty. Uh huh. Hi.
Yeah. All right. Well, we saw a little bit of the update today, but not a very not not a whole lot, to be honest. Not as much as we I would have liked to have seen. I think. All right. We can go ahead and stop there, and then let's see. We need. This is the wrong side for this, other than the nitrogen, which is here. So let's grab a couple of those. And put them in here. And then all of this. Oh. Hey, all right. Mm. Oh, should have pulled this. <laughs> Yeah, making computer boards is a pain in the butt. Uh, maybe one more? Yeah. All right. What is this? This this wants to keep doing this, right? Yeah. And then it's going to get those out of here, I think. Or try to get those out of there. How much did we... So not a lot, <clears throat> not a lot. Here, I'm going, I'm going over there drones, so I'll do the work for you. How does that sound? Uh, how full are we? Not that full. Two and two. All right, one more, one more blast off before we. Can we ride it? Yeah, oh, this is going to kill us. <laughs> hey, I hit it. Well, they haven't fixed that. <laughs> it's like, please let me go to space. Please let me. Oh, man, it is stuck. It is stuck. Look at it. Oh, God. Hey, hey, hey watch out, watch out. Oh, this one's so much better. It like doesn't go away. What a perfect place for it to fly into, too. This is all gonna be fun in games until this thing breaks loose and hits me in the face. Oh man. The other one usually kind of disappears, doesn't it? Can I nudge it? Oh, I totally can. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! It is so. It is really torn. It really wants to be near these heat guys. It is just stuck. I love that it's still existing. All right, be free, be free, be free. Whatever you do, don't come back here. What is it up to? Oh. Did I just find an exploit? Could you pull everything out of it now that it's launched and relaunch it again? Uh, or does it need to be? All right, we'll have to figure that out. Wait, so if it never goes to space, will it just never turn in the stuff that's inside of it? Did I just break the game? So many questions. Drax hacks, yeah. I mean, it's and stuck Drax? now. Drax. Drax. I don't want to open the space trading dock. <laughs> I mean, they had to know like everyone's gonna hit the rocket, right? I mean, there's like, there's like twenty videos. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. It just like warped speed out of there. I think it's gone. It's not still hung up over here, right? What do we got here? Drax just throwing some shit on the ground? Probably, right? <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> uh, 
I, I guess I guess the the takeaway from the trading post and the update for me is this. Uh, everything I've done up until this point was not nearly efficient enough. <laughs> and we've been playing for just under two hours and we have 300 tokens. And, and we need 5,000 tokens. So we're talking about, I guess for those of us that have saved games and, and aren't that sophisticated, we're going to need to tune up our automation planet wide to try to speed up the process of getting these parts to sell to the trader in space. And I think for those of you probably who have a really fine tuned base already and automation system, you are probably like, oh, okay, cool. I have, I have crates full of stuff and I'll just have it delivered to the rocket and I'll build multiple rockets so that they can go off in time. I think that's great. I, I'm actually like, now I'm tempted to start playing some more because I'm like, oh, you know what? Now I need to like really work on my automation to get it to feed the rocket better. And so this is, this has added a whole new level of late game. And we didn't get a chance to look at the frogs today, but we know that they're there and they're coming. And so I think there's, I think the frogs are cool. And I think that's like the next step of evolution to getting cows. But this rocket is really, it's game changing. It's really, it's great. It's a really cool, cool ad. So now it's like um, optimizing your entire supply chain and building more drones. And almost like kind of saying, I think for me, it's like, okay, I need to start from the beginning and think, okay, I need to start building these base component parts in special little factories that are delivering it to this. We're five steps away from frog milk. Yes. Yes, we are, nerd. So this has actually given me a lot of thought. I, I think we will play Vintage Story in the server tomorrow because we found Redwoods and I want to show them off. So join me for that. And then maybe we play we play Planet Crafter on Sunday as our final game for the month of June. Um, but yeah, this has been fun. I'm going to drop out because Molly needs to get started and I need to find a raid. But thanks everyone for coming by and thanks for hanging for my hiccup. For my hiccup. <laughs> uh... I'm glad the internet is off now and not during Molly's stream when it's important. When it's important. Anybody streaming Planet Crafter, do we think? What do we think? Mm, Planet Crafter tonight. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Got some people here. I got some people here. Someone's playing Permadeath Planet Crafter. Get the boy out of here. That's not real, right? Ah, ha, ha. ah you're the best. Do, 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 do. Mmm. Do do do. Man, not as many people as I thought. Whoa. Thanks, Moms. Not as many people as I thought would be playing um, this game, to be honest, given that there's an update. But I guess it is early in the morning, right? In America. It's also the summer. You got to keep remembering that. You got to keep remembering that. Let's um let's read uh let's read this person here. Do 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 someone's calling my number from Denmark. Not a good time to be truthful. <clears throat> There's the raid command. There's the raid command. Uh sorry, I'm like super distracted. Thank you everyone for coming in. We're back tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, we're going to play Venture Story on the uh, server. Uh, we found Redwoods. We're going to build a little, we're going to start building a little um, winter home, if you will. Uh, and then we're back on Sunday, and then we're going to take a bit of a break. I've got a YouTube channel, lots of great content up there from Venture Story, Planet Crafter, good stuff there too. And so, yeah, 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 yeah. Check it out. Check it out. So let's say hello to the, let's say hello to the raid, and then I will see you uh, tomorrow.